is your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with Friday morning chit chat. Y'all have been making videos all week. I have not posted anything. No, no, I haven't posted them, but I'm going to try my best today to post some videos. It's not that y'all probably like, we don't really care. <laughs> Nobody's missed you, Miss Natalie. <laughs> Ooh, we got my nails painted. I can cover up that ugliness now because they scraped my nails and yeah so they can find the right medicine for them but you know what y'all my nails are just about healed up on their own from just using the topical um solution and then she cut them a little bit more y'all i hate when my nails look nubby i like for them to grow out just a little bit longer but really this is why i'm supposed to have them at work not being able to see over the nail bed but i like just a little bit over my nail bed and i look nubby but you know what don't look my hands i used to have some beautiful hands and people used to tell me you don't like you ever worked a day in your life and now look at what arthritis is doing how wrinkled my knuckles are getting no and i remember i used to look at those old people's hands and be like oh i want my hands like that because for so long um for so long i, I always had pretty hands and pretty feet and now my feet look decrepit <laughs> I don't want to say decrepit, but y'all see them in the video. You can just tell the arthritic joints when they knuckles and the joint areas gets kind of enlarged and bigger than what the rest of the finger is. And you can just tell. And that's how it is with my feet and my and I am like just like oh God. You know, I used to love to wear my little sandals because people would always go, Oh, you got some pretty feet. What happened? Why does the body do this to us? Why does it betray us? But one thing I can say, it probably said, why have you betrayed me all these years? You have not been good to me all these years. So guess what, sister girl? <laughs> I'm coming back with a vengeance. And with a vengeance, I am, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, Lord, this is the getting old chronicles, okay? <laughs> but I thank God to be able to get old. Because some people did not even make it to see my age. Just gone way too soon. And then people my age are just dropping off like flies, you know? It's like... So it's, it's a good thing to just be alive, you know? It's a good thing to be alive, y'all. Good thing. Um, y'all, my car is starting to look like Fred Sanford. Can y'all see the stuff? <laughs> you know, everybody's inquiring, asking about things. So I got them in my car so that I can meet folks and give them the things. And yeah, so now I'm looking like Fred Sanford holding this stuff around. This is supposed to be my coupon mobile. My coupon mobile. That's what this is supposed to be. I, it's supposed to be loaded up with couponing items. I didn't get it for, I didn't get it for room for stuff, but I'm glad I got it. <laughs> glad I got it so I can put that stuff in because I would have to cram it all in my little car. But anyway, um, my back window does do have paper towel and um, toilet paper in the back from Walgreens. And let me tell y'all something that lady said that I really, I really did not like what she said. You know, it, it was a little degrading to me. It was a little, it was degrading to me as a black woman, even though she wasn't talking about black people, but it was degrading to me as a black woman. It was degrading to me as a couponer. You know, she was like, it's a little old lady, and I always think she's so sweet and nice, and I'm talking to her, and you know, always having a conversation. She's always friendly when you go in there. But then when she said this, my smile went like, from like, to, <laughs> yes. Let me tell you what she said. I had my toilet paper and paper towels. She probably wanted to talk about me too. I have four toilet papers and three paper towels. The deal is at um the deal at Walgreens is that the Scotts 
toilet paper and paper towels on sale for $3.99. When you spend $20, there's a $5 Catalina that's printed back up. We have the dollar off one coupons, making it like you pay $20, getting back five. And um, that's when you buy seven of them. And yeah, so it, it brings it down to, um, I can't remember what it was. Anymore. I can't remember the breakdown, but it's all over IG. Anyway, that ain't what I'm talking about. So she was like, you know, there's these Mexican ladies that come in and they buy up all this stuff. And I asked them, what do y'all do with that stuff? For one, it ain't none of your business what the woman do with it. If she wants to take it home, put it in the floor, roll all over it, that is her hard-earned money or her husband's hard-earned money that she has got, that she's using it on. I just, you know, kind of listened to her then. And then she was like, and you know, I asked them, do y'all sell that stuff? And they told me, yeah. And I bet if you go down Aiden to the stockyard, you'll see them out there selling that stuff. I bet you will. And you know, and we take care of them. I said, they better be worried about themselves. But we, we take care of them. They say, well, ma'am, they buying the stuff. They're going to resell it. So evidently they're making money off of it. So they're taking care of themselves. I'm about like Donald Trump. We need to send them all back. <laughs> Don't you think Donald Trump is right? I'm looking like this. Never answered her. Straight face. She got off on another subject. She got off on another subject. So I told her, I said, well, you know, I buy a lot of stuff too. But I buy for... Um, my son, my mom, myself. She said, oh, I do that too. I buy for my daughters and them too. Don't be talking about folks degrading them as a race. Talk about sending somebody else somewhere. At least they are trying to hustle. Okay? At least they're trying to hustle. They're not just laying off of the system. Now, there is some that is off the system, using the system, ain't doing nothing, but, and that's not just Mexicans, that is all across the board, okay? But what about them? Why did you single out, we're taking care of Mexicans? We're taking care of more than Mexicans. If, you, you know, you're working and, or have worked, and they take money out, and they're using some of that money to allocate to state funds and things like that, state taxes, when you pay state and federal taxes, I guess those things are going to um, fund some of those programs, but what about the other races that are using that? You didn't say anything about the white Americans, and I'm not racist by any means, y'all know that, but she said nothing about them, and some of them, some white Americans are on assistance they are getting assistance they are getting the medicaid they are getting the food stamps they are getting the government checks you know everybody's getting it and there's nothing wrong with it my god i got government i got state assistance um when i was coming along with my boys as a single woman but guess what i did with my assistance okay I used every bit of help I got from them as a stepping stone. I utilized every program that I could utilize to help me get through school, okay? Um, at one point, I was just down on my luck. I was, and I'll never forget, one time I was down on my luck and I had to go to, and that's why I'm a little leery about, and I know all of them are not the same, but I'm a little leery about helping Salvation Army and dropping things in their in their little containers and things because I'm going to tell you why there was this lady that she handled the funds like if you need to help paying your light bill or something like that this was my first time going to these people my first time and I went to that lady and she talked so down and so ugly to me but I couldn't speak back because I needed to keep my lights on for my children. I was just in a down, hard place. I was not misusing my money. I was all I could do to survive with two boys and trying to raise them on my own and making limited amounts of money. And, you know, back then, for two kids, I think you only got like maybe $175 from, um, from AFDC is what it used to be called back then and my rent 
was paying that because I didn't have a car because my mom was taking me around back then. I didn't have a car. So I had nothing really. So I was not a flashy person, was not half. You know, it was none of that. None of what y'all see me buying and stocking up and doing things like now. Because mm -mm, I didn't have the funds to do it, you know. But I made sure my kids were decent. I made sure they were clean. I made sure they went to school with what they needed. I made sure their bellies was not hungry. I still took care of what I had to do, no matter how bad I looked, no matter how many times I had to wear that dress, no matter how many times I had to wear those jeans, no matter how many times. It just makes me emotional thinking about the things that I went through. So now when I want to bless myself with something, you doggone Skippy, I'm going to buy it, right? I mean, right now I'm trying to go through a debt-free journey, but if it's something I want, I'm going to get it. I deserve everything that I get. Everything I get, believe me, I deserve. And you guys, y'all might not believe this, even through my struggle. God never failed me not one time through my struggles and even allowed us to have this giving group where we all got together once a month and we would buy food or household items and I was doing this out of my little bit of check that I was getting okay and my stamps and we were buying this stuff and we were blessing a family that was desperately in need once a month and I was you know somebody might say well you're taking from your family but I my children never went hungry but we were blessing these people and they were so happy they they were at destitutes in to see strangers who did not even know them. Some of these people we didn't know. We weren't blessing people we knew. It was like people might have heard people talking about them or we got the information and we would go and bless that family. We didn't know a bit more from Adam or Eve. People could have been lying to us about the people we did not know. But when we went there, my God, they were blessed. But let me finish telling you what was I talking about. Oh, and the lady said to me, we're going to help you this time. But we won't be able to help you again the next time. You need to, if you say manage your money, I can't remember her exact words, but I always remember, you need, we will help you this time. You know, it was just, just it was heartbreaking. I felt so humiliated. I felt this little sitting in that office. I had to bite my tongue because I know I needed to keep the lights on for my children. So I did. And now I'm like, mm -mm. Salvation Army just was not friendly to me. They were not friendly. That one lady, maybe. And I can't blame it on the whole organization, but it left a bitter taste in my mouth. And now either I will donate to things myself, and, you know, I'll still give money in those tins. Now that I can give more, I still don't give as much as I possibly could give in there because it's just still a bad taste. I would rather support something that supported me as I was coming up on my come up. But saying all that, say with those benefits, I used them to help get myself through nursing school to better myself where I did not have to look back at those things and somebody else could utilize it. And I wish everybody would use it as a stepping stone and not as a crutch, you know. So anyway, it just did something to me to hear her say that now I just look at this little old lady in a whole different light and I know God has got to work on me on that I'm not gonna treat her bad I'm still gonna be nice to her but I'm gonna know who you are what's in the inside of you and you know and it's ugly what's on the inside of you is ugly I'm just gonna be truthful about it it's just ugly so you guys I said all this to say that be kind to people don't judge people because of who they are because of the color of their skin don't do that. You know, we've been fighting for equality ever since the 60s. Well, before the 60s, but I mean, we really get to see the civil rights and all of that when it took place in the 60s. So, you know, we've been fighting a long time for equal rights. So, um, but yeah, so you guys just, just be kind to one another. Be loving. It's too long for all this bickering and fighting and. Huh, sisterly love brotherly love oh my god okay i'm gonna get off here for now you guys but as always do what give god some praise give him some thanks for waking you up this morning starting you on your way giving you another chance to get it right it's always a blessing to get it right i'll see y'all in my next video bye now